Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Bob Connor here again with another video and this time I'm going to do a DVD review of WWE SummerSlam 2022 which was a few months ago in August and it's not, probably not the best SummerSlam of all time, but it had its highlights and really good moments. And uh, I think it was fairly entertaining, um, you know, overall. Um, probably wouldn't say it's better than SummerSlam, uh, probably say it wasn't better than WrestleMania. WrestleMania was probably better with Stone Cold coming back, but this was. Pretty good, to be fair. You know, quite a good blockbuster SummerSlam. And then we'll just go review the matches. Uh, Logan Paul, obviously the YouTube sensation, making his well second match against the Miz. And the match was well. Probably not the Miz's best match uh, in regards, you know, he didn't really hit that many of his usual offensive manoeuvres. It was pretty much more all about Logan Paul, really, um, which, you know, he was letting him uh, do all his manoeuvres and doing what, you know, he wanted to do. And, um, I mean, it's a good part on the Miz to let uh, Logan Paul, you know, do all those moves, maneuvers and showcase what he's capable of, but I think the Miz could have done a few of his own moves, but anyway, Logan Paul was a really good performance and he did probably more than what anyone was expecting and put on a really good performance and did some really good moves that no one was expecting and the match was, you know, okay. Bianca Belair versus Becky Lynch was a pretty good women's match, really, really good. Uh, didn't really want to see it again, but to be fair, it was a really good match. Usos versus the Profits, rematch from Money in the Bank. Probably Money in the Bank match was a lot better. This one was an okay match. I mean, they didn't have as long as Money in the Bank time, you know, but it was pretty good. And they did hit all of the big moves were there, and it was okay. Then. Lashley versus Aust uh, Austin Theory, or Theory, because they changed his name and changed it back again. Uh, it was a pretty short match, pretty basic, nothing uh, mem memorable or special about that, just a basic, but they didn't have much time, so they did what they could. And Pat McAfee, McAfee or whatever you like to say, against Happy Corbin, match was okay. Pretty basic average match, but however, Pat McAfee's performance was really, really good to be fair, and he's a very, very good in ring performer. I mean, there's some of the stuff that he was doing was ridiculous, you know, crazy maneuvers that you see out of like cruiserweights, you know. Um, I'm surprised he got, you know, released to be honest, because, you know, he was pulling off crazy maneuvers, and, you know, it's really good performance. He's actually really, good, really, really impressive in the ring. Um, you know, and he's not even a full-time wrestler. And then Liv versus Ronda wasn't a good match, pretty basic. And then the main event was Reigns against Lesnar. It 